Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Let's get started. The other day I saw this quirky amphibians design challenge on Spoonflower and I thought it looked like a lot of fun and I knew I could make something really cool for it. So I jumped on over to Raw Pixel. I really like um, all the free stuff that they have on there. You can find copyright free items and public domain stuff. I love using this artwork uh, to create collages with, create collaged fabrics and textiles. And if you're worried about any copyright issues, you can look over all of the terms. So I started off by finding some illustrations that I thought were really interesting and I thought I could do something with. I knew I wanted to combine them with reptiles and make some kind of fancy reptilian world. So I started with this uh, soldier on a horse and I plopped him into Photoshop and got rid of the background. And once the background was removed, I added in a frog face and frog hands. I moved on to this really cool outfit. I think it was actually like a costume for a child was what the original illustration said, but I thought it would look perfect for my fancy lizard man. So I started doing more of the same, which is removing all of the background. And once that was all cleaned up, I added in lizard feet, hands, and a head. Next up, I wanted some beautiful flowers to kind of frame their interaction. And I love this vintage illustration of a floral wreath, but I just wanted part of it. So more of the same removing the background, removing anything I don't want. And after I grabbed my flowers, I realized I really liked that medallion in the middle. So I decided to grab that as well. And since this is an amphibian world, not a people world, I decided to get rid of the people and add in some frogs. After that, I jump into Illustrator. I have this template that I made and I just start all of my designs in this template now. I got this idea from Accentia. Don't know if I'm saying her name right, but I'll link her YouTube channel below. She always has a lot of great tips for textile design. Once I'm in my template, I add all the imagery that I want to use for my design. When you're doing illustrations like this, you have to embed them so it can make for a very heavy design and it can really slow down your computer. But it's the only way to get the symbol to repeat. And you'll see what I'm saying in a second. So here you see I've just moved objects around until it's created a composition that I'm happy with. So once I exit the symbol, since they're embedded, it shows the repeat all around, and that way I can continue to check how my design looks. I always like to delete any background in my Illustrator file and save that file with a transparent background. Then I grab that Illustrator file and move it into Photoshop, and I add the backgrounds in there. And I do this because often these Illustrator files are so heavy, they slow down my computer so much that it's just a much faster process. When I'm importing the file into Photoshop, I always like to make the width 24 inches because that's the width of a wallpaper roll. Now you can see I'm adding a background square and I can color that whatever color I'd like. Lately, I've been enjoying using um, all the colors from Spoonflower's petal, their signature petal cottons. You can find all the hex codes online and they match perfectly with their signature solids. So if someone wants, they can buy a bunch of yards of say the pewter and then they know that that will match your design perfectly if you have the pewter background. So I just went through the petal solids and I grabbed quite a few hex codes and made a bunch of different background colors and you can see them here. I 
really love the poppy red, but when I surveyed my Instagram followers, they all liked slate. So slate is what I ended up entering into the competition. You can see it here. And if you feel like it, voting is open right now. You can go and vote for my design or any other design that you love. I'll put the link in the description box below. And you have till November 9th at 3 p.m. Eastern to vote. Thank you so much for watching. I had such a good time making this design. I hope it inspired you to make your own quirky amphibian design today. See you next time.